Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and people of all ages. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today I'm going to show off some of the dope vintage Levi's pieces that I have in my collection slash inventory. I hope you're going to enjoy some of the cool things and pretty unusual things that I have found throughout the years. Let's check them out now. So my collection slash inventory is sort of a revolving thing. Uh, I find these things out in the wild, bring them in, show them off to you, enjoy them, maybe wear them, throw them on the internet to be sold, and just kind of keep the cycle going. Uh, these are the current items in this collection, some of the highlights from the, from the inventory. I have so many more pairs of jeans um, in the other room that I will show off one day. Uh, but we have some highlights here that are currently available in the collection. So let's get into some of these. So first we're gonna start off with a pair of shorts. I believe these are actually children's shorts, but they are big E. They are the white tab with red lettering. Um, they have uh, the information printed on the pocket bag. I believe this is the number right here. So this would be 1968. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, a pretty cool piece I found. This is the first Big E item I ever found uh, out in the wild. And so I was pretty excited to find it. I still have it after all these years. I've probably priced it too high, uh, but it's just, just a cool item to have because it is Big E um, and it's a pretty old Big E. Um, so pretty sick. It's a kid's size, I believe, but women could also fit it. Very, very uh, light, fat, light denim, um, super cool cut off shorts uh, that were probably made from like a boy's size. I don't think it necessarily has a size anywhere, but it probably was a boy's size and they cut them down to shorts. Now I'm gonna follow those shorts up with another pair of shorts. Uh, these are in fact also Big E. They have the black tab here for the Stay Press line. Uh, you can see the Stay Press right here on the inside. Uh, these are Big E. These were probably also for men and they were cut down. They were clearly hemmed here. Um, and made into shorts. They did not, I didn't, as far as I know, they, Levi's didn't produce any stay pressed uh, shorts. Uh, but these are a cool green color. I uh, picked these up not too long ago. Uh, I would say these are definitely like right there at the end of the Big E era. Still pretty cool though. Now, staying with the stay pressed theme, we have some of these men's stay pressed like tan slacks. They are also Big E. But what's interesting about this is that the date code actually gives us. Uh, 74, 1974, uh, which is pretty interesting uh, considering that the Big E was phased out by 1971. I have heard it's not completely unusual to occasionally find Big E's that were a bit later than that as supplies were still being used um, to finish out uh, whatever they had. So not super surprising, but pretty unusual nonetheless. Now moving into some younger items, we have a pair of Levi's Big Bells right here. Uh, these are some incredible flares. Look at that, that is great. Uh, these are like in dead stock condition. Uh, they are the orange tabs. They are beautiful. They've hardly, they've, they've probably never been worn actually uh, based on their look and feel. They're still very stiff. Um, fantastic pair of bell bottoms. These are definitely a smaller size, definitely for like a woman. Um, but these are super cool. Uh, these things don't last in my collection very long. I find them fairly regularly, but they don't last that long. They eventually get bought up pretty quick. And with sort of flare and boot cut sort of coming back into style, I will probably not have these very much longer at all. Now, while I won't probably have those bell bottoms for long, I'll probably have these for a little bit longer. These are technically big bells. These are dead stuck big bells. Um, really excited when I found the person online, then I got less excited when I picked them up from Marketplace and realized that somebody had purchased them, never worn them, but still hemmed them. <sighs> These would have been fantastic. 35, uh, 34, 33 would have been a great, great um, size. So they're really just kind of like boot cuts now, unfortunately, and uh, probably won't be able to sell these uh, unless you're interested. If you're interested, let me know. But uh, that was really upsetting when I found that out. All right, now we have this pair of 557s. These were like the Levi's for Cowboys. Uh, this came out in 1989. Um, I think this series is a bit older than that, but they are red tabbed here. They have a really small uh, patch here, um, and they were specifically designed for cowboys. This is obviously a pretty large cowboy. 
Um, but I picked these up. They were dead stock or essentially dead stock. Uh, so you can't turn some of that stuff down. They've got some much bigger brass uh, rivets. Uh, definitely in a different mold than usual. Um, so pretty interesting because you don't often find these. Um, this, I don't think they lasted for very long. Uh, but they do have some design differences that are pretty unique um, and cool to find in the wild. Now for the oldest pair in my collection. This is a big E orange tab. It still has the information printed here on the pockets. So we're talking some of the earliest orange tab items out there with these super wide leg. These are almost not even denim. Um, they're very light. I believe it says they're 629s. Um, I don't actually have a lot of information about this particular pair. Unfortunately, there is only a two digit stamp on the back of the tab. Um, I wish I had some more information about this one, but this appears that it's likely some of the earliest pairs of orange tabs that exist. Um, I'm still trying to research some of this for this particular piece. So if you have any information, let me know. Uh, but it's a super cool piece. It obviously was uh, folded because you actually have a, like a safety pin in here. Um, so these were folded up. So this is probably much wider than it currently is. Um, these are a really interesting pair. I've, I've hesitated to get rid of these. I've put them up, um, but I've had them for a little while and I, I'm glad they haven't sold because uh, I think they're pretty unique and definitely a hard find to find in the wild so pretty cool piece right here now for the last pair of jeans I'm gonna show you we've got some 501s from 1978 uh, these are salvaged but they were made into bell bottoms and you've probably seen this particular uh, pair before uh, because they're in my 501s video uh, and these are just super interesting I picked up for like two bucks they are little E's they're 1977 um, Super cool. They are salvaged and they're, you know, such a freaking great wash on there. Uh, lots of good distressing. A big hole right here uh, that I haven't fixed, but um, whoever owns them next can fix them. Uh, such an incredibly unique pair because they are made into bell bottoms. Um, I just don't want to let these go for very much or for very little. So uh, these have always been really high. Um, such a cool piece, super good for referencing when I'm, you know, helping you guys out, figure out uh, what your 501s, how old they are. So super cool piece, definitely one of my favorite pairs in this collection. All right, now for a couple odd pieces, we have like this leather vest, Sherpa vest, um, Levi's. Uh, I don't entirely know what how old this is. It doesn't have the traditional information. It's got a, like a care tag here, but no dates. It says small here. It is a white tab here. Um, I would guess 1970s for this guy right here. Uh, definitely sort of the vibe of the 70s. Um, still a very cool piece. Very hard to find these out in the wild. Um, these were maybe not as incredibly popular or they didn't last as long or whatever, but uh, super cool. The, the buttons are super corroded. Um, love finding this piece. Um, it's one of those pieces you just want to hang on to forever. I've had several uh, vests like this come in and out, some orange tab vests and such, but this one, uh, just so unique, so interesting, and I believe fairly old. All right, now here is a dress. Obviously, this is not my personal collection. Uh, this is a Levi's Juniors from 1984. This is like a whole denim dress. Um, it's buttoned all the way down. I'm sure this is not gonna last too much longer. It's got the white tab with the brown lettering on there. Uh, that the juniors often did have such a cool vibe on this i'm sure some uh lovely lady would love to own this so if you're that lady let me know it's on my ebay uh, you can check it out in the links below uh, but super cool uh, i remember finding this and it was sort of it threw me off at first but then when i sort of caught what it was because they put it in the men's t-shirt section uh, that would be a super long t-shirt or not t-shirt but long sleeve shirt um so they miss placed it but uh, I knew what it was and definitely wanted to have it to uh, find it a better home and it's such a good looking uh, dark wash material it's not gonna last that much longer in my collection now one of my favorite little pieces are the Levi's belt buckles I've had a lot of really cool ones on this you can actually check in the eye above I did a whole video on a bunch of Levi's uh, belt buckles that I think are some of the best kept secrets. They're just super cool, especially the stuff that was made from uh, the Bergamot Brass Company. Uh, so uh, this one was not, this is probably in the 1980s or early, um, like uh, early 90s perhaps. 
It uh, doesn't have a lot of dating information on it, but it's super cool. Love finding these in like flea market cases uh, or in big lots that people are selling. So uh, I always think these are pretty underrated uh, as far as like cool Levi's pieces. Uh, there are some really interesting ones out there. Again, check the, the video, uh, but this one's pretty cool. All right, now before we get to the very most unusual piece that I have in my Levi's vintage collection, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It would help us out tremendously and we really appreciate it. All right, now this is the most unusual piece that I have. This is an orange tab Levi's tennis racket cover uh, from the 70s. Levi's Orange Tab made all kinds of weird stuff like this. It is denim on the outside. It's got the Levi's patch on here. Um, definitely an unusual piece. These are fairly rare. Um, I think there's only a handful or a couple of them on eBay. Um, obviously that, you know, it's probably not going to fit most rackets or maybe it's even badminton. I don't know. But um, super cool and unique piece to find. I think I picked it up at a flea market for a couple bucks. Uh, it's definitely unique when it comes to all things Levi's. Um, I'm ha I hesitate to sell it. In fact, it's kind of fun. I just noticed this. Uh, I've seen it before, but it's got you know size 30 waist and 36 length. That's a pretty unusual uh, measurement there. But still a super cool piece. Definitely going to stay in my collection or unless somebody offers me a lot of money for it. Uh, but super unique. All right, that's the collection as it currently stands. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe again, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.